Hey guys, so basically today we're having a look at how to run DOS programs inside DOSBox. So basically guys, uh, any program that you have today needs to be a 16-bit application and you also need DOSBox. So guys, basically um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the um, key concepts and the key functions that we used back in DOS back in the day. So basically guys, I'm going to be showing you the three main DOS commands that literally every person who's ever used DOS will know about. So guys, basically... What you want to do is whack open DOSBox, so I'm just going to open it up here. And guys, basically, um, when you run DOSBox, you'll get this little cool window here. So guys, it might give you a tiny bit of help, but I'm just going to be showing you a full-on in-depth tutorial on how to use the three basic commands, which are change directory, show directory, and also clear screen. So guys, basically, the first thing I want to show you is clear screen. Clear screen is CLS and it basically just gets rid of anything that's on the screen at the current time. So if I call CLS now and I hit the enter key, as you can see, the screen just cleared. And something I want to tell you about DOS is that if you make a mistake while typing, so if I type in CLD because um, you, that's a re really common mistake because the D, the D key is next to the S key on a QWERTY keyboard. So guys, if we do this, it just says a legal command, nothing goes wrong, so you'll be fine. Just edit, just write the command again. So now we're just going to go ahead and type in CLS to clear the screen. So it goes basically, clear screen is a really basic command, and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that now. So it's just, you can use it whenever you want. It's just good to get all the stuff off, off, stuff off, off the screen. And guys, basically, what we want to do next is learn how to mount a drive. So basically, when you mount a drive inside DOSBox, it's basically allowing your current drive to be used as a drive inside DOSBox. So you have to think of DOSBox like another computer. So you guys, basically, you don't want to be mounting your whole C drive. You want to be mounting a specific directory. That's because of the fact that, let's say you accidentally installed something like if there was a malicious application that you installed, like I assume you probably didn't, but there always is a chance, and you never want to lose all your data, so the thing is you probably only want to mount the directory that has the actual application, so it can only really infect itself, which won't do any harm to your hard drive. So guys, how we do this in DOSBox is we go and mount, and basically what we want to do is now have a letter name for your drive. I'm going to call my drive a C drive, so I'm going to mount C, and basically next thing you need to do is show the, direct, the directory sorry, of your actual drive. So I'm going to mount C as C colon backslash. And basically what this does is it starts off by saying, all right, the C drive inside DOSBox has, takes the um, data of what's in the directory of C. But remember how I said we don't want just the whole entire C drive? We actually want to have a separate directory inside the C drive. Now I've actually made a directory inside my C drive named DOS. So I'm just going to put it in there. So basically, this command now mounts the C drive in DOSBox to the directory of C backslash DOS. So once we do that, it says drive C is mounted as local directory C backslash DOS. All right, guys. Now I'm just going to clear the screen once again. And guys, um, now what we have to do is actually get into that drive. And how we do that is simple. If you remember the drive name, it was C. So we go C colon, hit enter. There you go. We're now inside the C drive. So basically, I'm just going to clear the screen once more. And the next thing I want to show you is the directory command. So this basically just shows the current directory. And it is indeed DIR. So basically, what goes on here is if we type in DRR and hit the enter key, we get the directory. And this is the, um, these, this is the directory I have inside my DOS folder. So basically, the two directories we can look at is games and programs. Don't worry about the other two. So guys, basically, as you can see, what's going on here is the fact that... Um, when you type in dir, it shows you the, the, the directory, all the files, and all the different directories inside that directory. So guys, basically, we can now um, change the directory into the games or programs. Now, I have a game I want to run, and basically how we do this to change into the game directory is cd games. So what basically happens now is it says, it tells DOS, all right, I want you to change directory, and I want you to go into the games directory. So when we hit enter now, we're now inside C games. And basically guys, what we can do now is do DIR again. And as you can see, the directory is changed because we now have all the files for the for the directory inside games. Now guys, basically how you can exit the game directory is by going CD dot dot. And that just uh, goes back down one directory. So guys, now if we go dear again, 
as you can see, we're back into the directory of the DOS folder. Whereas if we go CD games, we go into the games folder. So guys, basically, what I wanna do now is actually run a game. So if we open up Deer, the game I wanna run is in the cap flag directory. It's the capture the flag shareware edition, which is just a demo edition of the capture the flag game that was really popular, popular back in the day. So you guys, remember the CD change directory command. So we go CD, cap flag, and we now hit the enter key. We're now in the cap flag directory. And if we go ahead and clear the screen, then go deer. As you can see, we now have a couple of different files. Now the one I wanna run is actually, it's named cap flag exe. So it's the executable, which is just the application. So how we run a application is just typing in cap, flag which is the name of it hit the enter key wait for it to run and there we go guys welcome to capture the flag so basically this is a really popular game back in the day uh, i could always play the game like i go file new game and all that but it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to actually exit the game so i'm just going to go file exit game and basically what's going to happen is basically after i get all this fixed up sorry about that little exit screen there but there you go it basically because it was a shareware edition it just shows you all right do you want to um buy the game and all that but i don't really want to buy the game so you guys basically um that's about it for today i hope you enjoyed that tutorial where i showed you guys how to use dos and how to run applications inside dos and guys remember that some tips is you never want to mount your whole c drive in case the application you have is malicious but guys, don't worry, DOSBox or DOS is not dangerous or anything. It's the fact that you might have installed a, a malicious application. So DOS isn't dangerous by any means. So guys, basically, just to leave you guys, I'm just going to exit out of this directory. So we're now back in the C drive inside the DOSBox, which is just the DOS directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear the screen. And guys, that's about it for today. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I'll be sure to see you guys next time.